Messi has just won the World Cup, but what comes after that? Today, we're jumping on FIFA 23 career mode to play Messi's career out after the World Cup. He is 35 years old. He is 91 overall, and he's basically won every single trophy in world football. So what is going to come next for Messi? Today, we answer that question. So step one for this video is to head on over to the calendar, and we are going to simulate up until... Wait for it. Wait for it. January 1st, right after the World Cup. And while I'm simulating right here, you guys are going to click the subscribe button so that we can get to 2 million subscribers. And we have made it January 1st. And Messi's rating has already dropped by one. And he submitted a transfer request. Okay, so now we're currently up to date to where Messi is at in real life. And this video will not end until he decides to retire into this career mode. But we get to control his entire career. Okay, first things first. Messi's contract with PSG is going to expire in six months. So once we reach June 30th in the calendar, we're going to have to make a decision whether we want to renew that contract with PSG or move Messi to another club. For now, though, let's see where things sit with PSG because we are definitely going to be remaining here until the end of the year. PSG is in first place in the league. The League Cup is just getting underway. And more importantly, most importantly, the UEFA Champions League. We could not duplicate the results in the groups in real life. And looking at these groups, we couldn't definitely duplicate them because they're the 2021 groups. What is this, EA? Nevertheless, PSG has made it through and have to play Real Madrid in the round of 16. Let's now go on and play out the remainder of this half season with PSG with this starting 11. I still don't know what I'm doing yet. I want to make this realistic to how it would be in real life. So will Messi stay? Will we move him? We'll find out after we simulate till the end of the season. June 1st, 2023, only 30 days before Messi's contract ends. And we're just going to the squad to see what Messi's rating has dropped to. 89, okay. It's only a minus two in this season. If you guys don't know, in career mode, as players get older, their rating shrinks. So by the end of this video, Messi could be like a 60 overall. And PSG have gone on in one league on Uber Eats with 89 points. We're going to be keeping track of trophies one after the World Cup for Messi. So, so far, we're starting with one trophy. That would not be two. Bayern Munich has won the Champions League. Where did PSG finish? They lost to Juventus, bro. They got grouped in real life. 14 goals and 12 assists to end the season for Messi. And now it is time to announce only one month left this contract. I will not be re-signing Messi to PSG. He is going to be moving to a new club. And I want to keep this video as close to real life as possible. So I've gone to Messi's transfer market website where we can see where he's most likely to go after this season. Here are the current rumors. And as you can see down below under the rumors, it says as of December 20th, there is a 52% chance that Messi is going to join Inter Miami. Are we about to move Messi to MLS? I think it's only right. We are going to be joining Inter Miami. Messi is off to MLS. Now, nah, this is about to be so weird, but trust me, boys, come back to this video in six months because Messi's actually going to do this and join MLS. I'm predicting the future. All right, here's the Inter-Miami team without Messi. Now we need to go sign him as a free agent. Here we go, Lionel Messi, 36 years of age. Here he is as a free agent, still valued at 55 million pounds, and he is 88 overall. Let's see if we can do it. Bring him to Inter-Miami. We're obviously going to offer him a crucial playing time. Now, he only wants a one-year contract. So Messi would then stay in Miami just one year, meaning the end of next season, we'll have to move him to a new club. Now, it's only recommending we give him 39000 a week. Bro, that's nothing. I'm going to give him 100 k and I feel like that's even low. And he accepts it. 100 k a week for Messi is pretty cheap. I'm pretty sure the Saudi Arabian club was offering Cristiano Ronaldo like $200 million a year to sign with them. Transferring Lionel Messi to Inter Miami. What do they grade this transfer? This has to be an A plus 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 plus. Okay, it is an A. Excellent deal, they say. Of course, we're bringing Messi to MLS. It has to be a good deal. Now we got to figure out which position we're going to play him at for this upcoming season. This transfer does happen in real life, boys. You bet I'm going to so many MLS games that Messi is playing at. I might even just move to Miami and become a season ticket holder. Oh, but what has Messi just joined? Oh, no. Look at how bad this team is. <laughs> Didn't they have Matuidi and Higuain? I think they both retired. I feel like Messi's position, like, what do we even do here? I'm playing at striker. I might have to change this team's formation. Here's the team I've gone with with Messi. 88 rated Messi on the right wing. Everyone else is really bad. So to keep this series as realistic as possible, if Messi were to join Miami, 
I think they'd probably sign a few other players as well. So I'm going to get to add two signings to this team. Now here's the catch. I can't just sign anyone. Like I couldn't just bring in Bappe to enter Miami. These two signings have to be above the age of 35 or older. I mean, it's MLS. Like we like to be called a retirement league. We kind of are sometimes. So these players have to be old on the verge of retirement. So the first player that I'm going to bring in is Manuel Neuer. He is 37 years old and... Yeah, look at that. He's only valued at 3 million as a 90 overall rated player. And alongside him, I am going to... Is Luka Modric? Modric already retired. I was going to go for him. All right, how about this, man? Robert... Oh, no. Oh, I wanted to go for Lewandowski, but he's 34 years old. Okay, I know I could do this one. I could go for Ronaldo, but let's be honest, guys. It's a bit unrealistic. I don't think both of them would join in Miami. Now, I know I could go for other high-rated players, but I feel like this one makes the most sense. Reuniting Messi with Luis Suarez. Up first, Manuel Neuer. Man, three million. Okay, but you know what? Let's just offer four because he's worth at least that. Four million! That is the biggest steal of a deal ever. And now, Luis Suarez. They say around 15 million. How is he worth more than Neuer? That makes zero sense to me. 16.3 million is what they want. And we will take it. Welcome to Inter Miami. Luis Suarez signing one. And he's shaking hands with Messi. Let's go. The reunion. An A deal for signing Suarez. And Manuel Neuer walking in Inter Miami. Is he going to shake hands with Messi? He is. This better be an A deal for Manuel Neuer, especially with how cheap he was. He's I'd be shocked if this wasn't an A. B! Brah, EA, what are you? Nah, you're drunk, EA. Here's a new and improved Inter Miami team. Suarez, Messi, Pozuelo, Neuer. And since we joined this team in July, it's actually the middle of the season for MLS. So you guys can see we're joining right in the heat of things. And where's Inter Miami? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, my God. They're in 11th place. They are so bad. And since Messi has signed a one-year contract, we are going to include this season and next season. So even though it's one year, he's going to get two seasons at least with Inter Miami. Just to confirm, Messi has not stated that he wants to retire yet. So everything is looking good. We're not going to go for the calendar and sim all the way up until the MLS playoffs begin. Okay, boys, we've made it. And we have a game against Columbus Crew, which I think means we've made it to the playoffs. Let's go. We took Inter Miami from 11th all the way up to fifth place. We are in the playoffs. Round one, we're taking on Columbus Crew. If you guys know me, I don't like Columbus Crew. They are my team, FC Cincinnati's rival. We are playing the Columbus Crew from Ohio as well. Here's how the Western Conference finished. And here's how the team finished. Suarez dropped to an 81. Neuer dropped to an 89. And Messi dropped to an 87. But it was still enough to get them to the playoffs. So this game is predicting that if Messi does join MLS in 15 games, he's going to score six goals and get three assists. Suarez, on the other hand, scored nine goals. This is to see if Messi will advance in the MLS Cup playoffs with Inter Miami. They will 2-1. Messi actually scores the game winner too. And their next opponent in the conference semifinals is going to be Atlanta United. Let's see how this game goes for Messi to continue to advance in his first season. In MLS. Here it is. Here it is. 2 1 win. Messi with another goal. All right, bros. As you can see, Messi joins MLS and immediately dominates. All right, let's simulate to see who's up next. DC United. The winner of this game will play either LAFC or FC Dallas in MLS Cup final. Here it is. And it may be DC United. Please, Messi, please. No. Bro, they lost. Oh, no. Just like that. The season ends. Messi finishes with eight goals and four assists, but does not win MLS. But it's okay. He's still going to have one more year left in MLS to do this. He's not retiring yet. So before we end the season, the winner of MLS was... Who was it? Hello? Oh, it's LAFC. And New York City FC won the US Cup. Why does my head look so big with these headphones inside my hoodie? <laughs> Okay, right. Messi, after two seasons after the World Cup, only has one trophy. And just like that, we are in to our third season after the World Cup. Now, Messi is at 87 overall. This is his contract expiring in 12 months. This is his last season in MLS, and hopefully he's not retiring. Suarez, on the other hand, is retiring at the end of the season, so he will be done. As long as Messi doesn't retire, this will be his last season in MLS, and we're going to try to move him to another club after this, where that will probably be his last team. This is Messi's last chance to win a trophy in MLS, so let's see if we can do it. This is going to be the quickest season so far. Okay, so this is October 14th. It looks like we're in MLS playoffs again. If this actually does happen in real life and Messi goes to MLS, it is going to like change football dash soccer in the USA forever. Like imagine just something like this. I mean, my, my proposition was Suarez and Messi joining up. Neuer was just a random addition. That one's probably not realistic. This would break football 
in the USA, man. Not like it's already on its way up in the USA, like the, the popularity and growth of the sport, but this would just change everything. So a lot better this season. We finished in second. Well, actually we tied for first, but we finished in second because of gold differential. Meaning we get an easier opponent in round one. It is going to be Toronto FC. Okay, so instead of going game by game in the MLS playoffs, I'm actually going to just click December 1st. Let's see how far he makes it. So here we go. Round one ends up being a 2-0 win against Toronto. On to the conference semifinals. Where we lose to New York City FC. <sighs> Bro, two seasons for Messi to win MLS. He can't do it. New York City FC wins MLS. Not gonna lie, Messi, kind of a disappointing year. Only 10 goals. He keeps getting outscored by Suarez. And I guess this is because Suarez is a striker. As you can see, though, Messi's contract is expiring, though, and we're not gonna be renewing him near Miami. It is time to go to our next seat team, which could be his final team. Serious boys, 37 years old, 83 overalls to what he's dropped to. He's a free agent, so let's find his new club. Now, if Messi keeps playing this long, I have two options of clubs that I think he would join for his final season. Option number one is probably the most realistic. Messi returning to Barcelona, one final season. Actually, I don't know. I feel like he's been there, done that. I don't, I don't think Messi would ever come back, but we could do it. This next option is the one I'm going to go for, and I think it'd be the perfect end of Messi's career. Newell's young boys this is the team that messi began his career at in argentina let's go return messi to his boyhood club is this the right move i don't know is it a realistic one i think so messi returning to argentina and here's what the team is looking like without Lionel messi it's definitely better than inner miami was and here's messi we are going to go ahead and sign him only wants a one-year contract and that messi out here only signed a one-year contract so i guess makes sense keep his options open i do think he's going to retire at the end of the season though and recommended wage 40k a week so low man like why and of course for zero pounds this should be an a transfer move there it is all right messi let's go let's go ahead and find him in the squad hub there he is Lionel messi i figured that would happen status says retiring end of the season so this is the final season for messi he's returning home he's gonna be starting at right wing with one goal of winning the argentinian league this is a trophy that i don't think messi maybe he won it when he but he was there for the youth team. i don't know honestly i don't know i don't think we're gonna be in the Bertoros, which is probably one of the only trophies like probably the biggest trophy in the world that messi hasn't won yet it is time to go ahead and sim the final season Lionel Messi. We made it to December 2025, where Messi's career is about to end. Here it is in the league. Oh, no. Oh, they did bad. Oh, no. Messi's career is going to end like this. Oh, no. 18th place in the Argentinian League. I'm sorry, Messi. I sh you should have just retired after Inter Miami. He finished with an overall rating of 78 overall and only six goals and three assists. Definitely not the player he used to be at. Well, he's now 38 years old. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video playing Messi's career after the World Cup. If you enjoyed this, click to watch another video on Messi. Subscribe here and we'll see you boys later. Peace.